Welcome. OK, so now we're going to look at UV mapping. So what is UV mapping? Well, imagine a piece of paper that's flattened out and you might draw a design on that and roll it up. So your rolled up version will be the 3D model and then your texture when you flatten it out will be the flattened version, which is like a UV map. So it's basically taking this and unwrapping it so it's flat so you can actually use that as a texture in other applications and it is used a lot in 3D so it's good to know how to do it. Now we're not going to go into great complexities here I'm basically going to do just a auto unwrap but there's a lot more to this and you will find that when you're doing any of the workshops that I teach. So we're going to take this little model now and we're just going to UV unwrap the body. So we're not going to do the eyes, we're just going to work on the body, okay? So as you already know, we have this as a low resolution version down here and it's easier to un unwrap something with less polygons than something with a lot. So we're going to take this and we're just going to do what's called an auto unwrap for it. So I'm going to go to Z plugins at the top and you're going to come down to this called a UV master. Now something I want to just point out to you at the moment, this has got no UVs on it. And if we go down to the UV map, you're going to see that you don't have any options in here um, to create anything in here because there's no uh, map associated. But if we go into the texture and we try to create a new map here, it's not going to let us because we haven't got any UVs on this model. So the first thing we need to go is go to the Z plugin and come down to what's called the UV master. So UV master is here. I'm going to leave symmetry on. Um, I'm not going to, you can do it by polygroups. There's lots of settings in here that I'm not going to go and talk about this time. I'm just going to click unwrap. I, if I click unwrap all, it will do it on the eye as well and other sub tools. I just want to do it on this one. So I'm going to click unwrap. And what you're going to see now is it's actually working through things. You're not going to see any changes at the moment till it gets to the end. And even then, it's not going to show you anything. But it will have created a new map for us. So if I now go to my UV map here, you're going to see that I now have the options to, mo to morph this UV. So let's have a look at it. I'm going to click Morph UV and you're going to see it's going to flatten it out. So this is the flattened out version of this. So it's flattened this all out and gives us this look. Now if I change this bump to zero and I just redo this, you're going to get a better flattened version. There we go. So you can see it's flattened the model out in symmetry. So this has created something that we can now map to our texture map. So I'm going to come back now to our sub tools and I'm going to go down to the geometry tab and I'm going to put the resolution now on four because those UVs have been applied to this. I can turn this off and we have our model and you're going to see down here now we can create a flattened texture map of this. So I'm going to go on here and we can say new from polypaint. So if I click new from polypaint, you're now going to see you have a flattened version of that texture produced. And that is how we can UV unwrap a model inside of ZBrush. So pretty easy. There's lots of uses for this as well, guys. So if you want to know more about this, if you take more of my workshops, I use it a lot for doing lots and lots of different things inside the program. OK, so that is how we can UV, use UV mapping um, to map your poly painting into a texture and you can use that with other external devices. So now you'll see in here that this texture is actually on. So what will happen if I go down in my subdivisions down here, it's still going to keep that poly painting in there uh, and it's taking that painting from the UV map here. OK. So this is the mapping for it. So that's all I'm going to talk about for that. To export your map, you can hit clone texture. You'll see it appear over here and then you can click, you can select that texture and you can export that out to use in another application. So that is how you can UV map your model inside of ZBrush. OK, so we're going to move on now to the rendering stage. So this is just using ZBrush's internal render to render our little dragon out. We're going to do that in the next workshop.